I told you to go. Yeah, I've never been great with being told what to do. I just, just want to talk. You do realize I'm a real doctor and there are patients out there waiting for me to save their life, so I can't be stuck in here with you, excuse me. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? You can't bully me into having a relationship with you. That's not what I'm trying to do. And apparently you can't stop being that doting dad. Okay, the only reason you're here is because you thought mom wanted you back, right? Yeah, initially. But then I found you three kids. Look, maybe I came on a bit too strong and I should never have taken a car. I put my hands up. Look, I thought... Maybe it will show you how much it means to me to get to know you. I, I was trying to impress you. I look at you all grown. You, you're a doctor. I, I couldn't win you over by buying you ice cream and, and, and a new toy. I don't need you to win me over. I need you to leave me alone. Don't, don't be like that. Look, look, every boy needs their dad. Oh, what for? So you can teach me how to tie my shoelaces or what, take me to the school disco. You don't get it. You're too late. Granted, already did all that plus more. Oh, yeah, water. He's a regular Mary Poppins. Yes! Yes! Because for the past two decades, he did everything you were supposed to! And you think you can just waltz in here and storm me a car think I'll forget? <sighs> My guy, the only reason I've given you a chance is because Scott begged me to. <laughs> because he didn't want me to live a life filled with regret. He's right. He isn't the one you left. Do you have any idea what it was like to find out I had a brother and a sister and to hear of all of the horrific stuff they went through and to know the only reason I was spared is because I was expected to die? You have no idea what that does to your mind. I don't even know how I'm allowed to feel. And to realize, on top of all of that, my dad, the man I was supposed to raise me left me for dead. My, my, my head was screwed up. I couldn't handle one kid. What if someone got three? I mean, you, you were ill. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must have been awful. I just put out on you, you know? I, I tried. Look, when, you, when you've not had a proper family, the thought of finally belonging to one, it's, it's, it's amazing. But it's also overwhelming, you know? Like, no, 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 no. I, 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 I had water. He was, he was in my ear. He, he, was, he was telling me that you guys would be better off without me. Don't blame Grandad. When you have been told your entire life, you are worth nothing. You are worthless. You, you start to believe it. So when, when this rich chick doctor came along and promised my kids, chance at an amazing life. I gave in. I mean, looking back, it was probably too good to be true, but at the time, I thought I was making the right choice. So, where, do, where did I fit and Do I even matter? Oh, of course you did. That's, that's why I came back. I, I, I decided that if you, if you survived, we were going to raise you. I was going to marry your mother. I had it all worked out. Only... That's not important. Just please, please believe me when I tell you, I didn't make the choice for me to go away. Is that it? That's the reason you abandoned us? There are, there are some things, it's best that you don't know. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous, I've got to Look, I'll stay away. I won't, I won't turn up at your workplace. Please, Mitchell, are you? Aren't you curious to find out who I am? You're a liar. And a thief. One more chance. That's all I ask. <laughs> you, you only have one dad, right? <laughs> yeah, you're all right. <laughs> That's not you. Stay away from me.